Pokemon Legends Arceus is being called the best Pokemon game in years, which isn't that surprising, given how many quality of life choices there are compared to other Pokemon games, like much faster battling and catching, an improved move learning system, overworld encounters, as well as many more. And if Pokemon Scarlet and Violet step up from Legends Arceus, these could look to be some pretty awesome Pokemon games. However, despite Legends Arceus having so much good, it is still far from perfect. So, I want to list 10 of the most notable problems I have with the game that I'd love to see Game Freak change or improve upon Generation 9. And these problems are... Whenever the player gets too close to an Outer Bounds area, some text pops up telling the player this, as well as a thick, completely unnecessary layer of fog that stops the player from seeing anything. Like, why? The text is all we needed. There is absolutely no need to fog the screen up. This is especially annoying when doing an outbreak, trying to find a good hiding spot, but then your vision is completely obscured, so you have to move away in order for the fog to lift, which by the way also feels like it takes ages, only to be spotted by the Pokemon you were trying to hide from. This fog does not need to be in the game, and like I said, it's completely unnecessary. If they don't remove this in a future patch, please keep it out of future Pokemon games. Throwing Pokeballs I really like the catching mechanic in Legends Arceus. It makes catching Pokemon so much quicker and less tedious, but there are a couple of issues that need fixing. The first being Pokeballs that hit the sides of walls and floors. I understand why this is happening, but sometimes it can get in the way a bit too much. Like if you're trying to catch a Pokemon uphill, good luck getting a ball to hit. The second major issue is being too far away for the ball to land. The Pokeball will hit the Pokemon, but it doesn't catch them instead makes them angry. This is just unbalanced. If the ball is too far away to catch them, then the Pokemon should also be too far away to spot us. We have the Feather, Wing, and Jet Ball specifically for catching Pokemon that are too far away, yet they can still not work. Definitely something they should consider patching in the future. The graphics. Not too long ago I tweeted out some of my thoughts about Legends Arceus, stating that the graphics to me looked unfinished, and one of the responses I got was, graphics are unfinished, learn what cell shading is please. Firstly, Legends Arcus isn't cell shaded, so you learn what cell shading is please. Second, even if this game was cell shaded, it would still objectively look unfinished. There are definitely times when this game does look nice, but comparing it to actual cell shaded games, let's use Breath of the Wild for example, it's almost night and day. The best improvements to the graphics from other Pokemon games are the move animations, that do look very cool for the most part, but comparing it to other games released today, you can definitely tell that the graphics are not the strongest thing this game has to offer. The new battle slash speed changes. This is definitely something you ever had to learn, or get used to, especially if you're more familiar with the battle system from previous Pokemon games. The change to the system isn't a negative itself, but there are definitely times when it does feel pretty unfair, especially in trainer battles. If you faint an opponent's Pokemon, they don't just switch in their next Pokemon, giving you time to decide what your next attack is or if you want to switch. No, they get to attack straight away, and since they're most likely going to switch into a Pokemon that's strong against whatever you have out, there is a decent chance they're going to one-shot your Pokemon instantly. Fun. On the plus side, this does make battles more challenging, and arguably more strategic but sometimes it really doesn't feel fair at all. Pokemon gain EXP at the end of the battle instead of during. So if your Pokemon faints mid-battle, it ain't gaining any experience, which kind of sucks. As I said before, due to the new battle system, your Pokemon are more likely to faint during trainer battles, meaning they're also more likely to not gain any experience. I don't exactly understand why this change was made. The new battle system might be hard to get around at first, but it at least is a welcome change in some ways. There isn't really a good reason to have experience gained at the end of the battle instead of during the battle, so hopefully this isn't something that carries on to the next Pokemon game. All legends, mythicals, and starters at the beginning of the game are shiny locked. Dear Game Freak, Shiny locking sucks. No one likes it. Please stop doing it. We don't care if the Pokemon appears in a cutscene and is not shiny. That's not a good enough excuse. You've shown Pokemon in a cutscene before that weren't shiny but could be. What's the point of making a shiny form if we never even get to possibly encounter it? I mean, I kind of understand why you shiny lock main legendaries, even if I don't agree with it, but why the starters? 
There are people who want to grind and potentially have a shiny starter. So what's the point in taking that away? Shiny locks will probably always be a thing. But at the very least, for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, don't shiny lock the starters, please. Mm, don't shiny lock the legendaries either, but still. Not the starters, please. Evolution methods that are either tedious, or you wouldn't be able to figure out without the internet. I don't know why Game Freak is insisting to do even more of these evolution methods, because they're really not a good idea in my opinion. Like, use an Agile style specific move 20 times? 20? Why? I am all up for unique evolution methods, but why do they have to take this long? I guess it's not as bad as getting 3 crits in the same battle, or take 49 plus damage and then walk under a specific area. Like, come on, that's just ridiculous. But remember when the new evolution methods were just something like, turn your system upside down? That was cool, and unique, and made sense for the Pokemon. Sure, people probably wouldn't figure that out without the internet as well, but if the game gives you clues, like through dialogue and dex entries, I think it'd be much more likely to work out than any of the other ones. I'm sure more unique evolution methods will happen in the future. I just hope they're not as much of a chore as the other ones. Perfect deck entries are way more tedious than they need to be. So in past Pokemon games, to get the shiny charm, you had to complete the Pokedex. In Legends Arceus, not only do you have to complete the Pokedex, but you also have to get a research level 10 on every Pokemon in the decks. On the plus side, this means that the player is going to be using a large variety of Pokemon, but it definitely can get to the point of feeling grindy and not fun. This isn't too bad, I guess, but don't get me started on the perfect dex entries. Let's take Magikarp, for example. You splash 100 times. Why the f***? Dex research itself, I think, is a good idea. I just think it would have worked a lot better if the research was made in a funner way and less tedious for the player. Also, with the newest update to the game, perfect deck entries now take even longer. So, cool. No battling friends. I understand why battles would be hard to implement given how battling works in Legends Arceus, but come on, they couldn't make something specific just for battling other people. One really great change made in Legends is Eevees and Ivies are pretty much not a thing anymore, and you can power up your Pokemon to get the best stats it can just by leveling it up and using the Grit items for your Pokemon's effort levels, meaning no more tedious breeding for Ivies as well as no more Eevee training. But now, spending time to power up your Pokemon almost doesn't seem worth it, since the only battles y you'll have are against the computer. Legends really changed up battling to the point where the competitive side would have been interesting to see, but unfortunately, we most likely won't know how it would have played out. Again, I understand why Battling Friends isn't in the game, but it's still a shame that it isn't. And finally, problem number 10. There's no Charizard. Just kidding. Although that's still kind of part of the problem being cut Pokemon, moves, and abilities. We already knew this game wasn't going to have every Pokemon in it, and to be honest, part of me is kind of glad that it doesn't, given all the extra dex entries that we'd have to deal with. But going from 900 down to just 242 is still a massive cut. Additionally, this game removed almost 700 moves from past games. Again, understandable, but it does kind of suck when the only options for moves you have aren't good or you really don't like. For example, I'm someone who hates using moves that aren't 100% accurate. I also don't like using moves that aren't very strong. So if I'm using a Samurott on my team, what are my water type options? My go-to physical and special water moves are usually Waterfall and Scold, both 100% accurate, deal good damage, and have their own effect but these moves aren't in the game. So now my only move options are ones that don't have a lot of attack power, or ones that do, but they will miss. Not all Pokemon and Legends have this move problem, but it's definitely something that's bugged me while playing through the game. The only good thing I see from this is that I won't have to worry about battling real people with a move set I don't like. So there's that, I guess. And those are 10 things in Legends Arceus that I think could be improved a bit, and hopefully will do if they're in the next Pokemon game. 
They definitely don't ruin the game, but they probably would be better if they weren't in it. If you agree or disagree with me on any of them, let me know in the comments. And if you did enjoy, please leave a like, as it does help the video out, subscribe for more Pokemon content in the future, and until next time, thank you so much for watching.